And then there is another one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on? How you doing? I am Wavy. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Had a good uh, holiday last week and all that good stuff. Back, wave back in full effect this week. Um, so, yeah, if you like the content over here, you could always drop a like, uh, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button. It's all free. Doesn't char It doesn't cost you shit, and it goes a far away for the channel. All right, that being said, so it was Thanksgiving, and, uh, you know, families come together for, what re for, for all, you know, to come together and stuff like that and there was uh, a big kerfuffle or falling out uh with ti and his son uh and you could even say uh tiny as well ti's uh wife and um we don't cover all of that i right? but i don't understand what it is with a lot of these uh celebrity children or even children born with silver spoons that feel the need to be uh, I guess be gangsters, be hoods, be, um, you know, accepted in that uh, area of culture and, you know, everything. I don't I don't get it. I mean, I do get it up to a certain point. Like I said, I I came from a good family, you know, that was able to provide for me and stuff like that. We didn't have to struggle and stuff like that. And I remember um and this is like middle school, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Um, I remember somewhat resenting my, my parents for that, my, my dad for that. And I think it was culture. You know, it was the culture that, oh, you know, you, you all your favorite stars and rappers, they come from this uh, uh, single parent destroyed home that they kind of... I don't know, like if I don't know, like if they make people want that, but like the way that they push it, I don't know. It's all the, like I said, black culture. We got to do better. Anyway, so let's get to the video without me taking too much time. Love Sam Smith. That's the kind of music I listen to. I think because I'm so big and black and hard, they think I listen to all the hard stuff. But you don't listen to rap. I do. I do. My son, my son raps. His name is Tut Tarantino. Wait, what? My son, right? He. he uh, What's his name? He, he raps under Tut Tarantino. His real name is Elijah Irvin. Okay. But listen, get this out, get this out. I swear, if you go on the iTunes and listen to him, he raps about some of the hardest stuff <laughs> in the world. And I say to him, son, you grew up in a 20,000 square foot gated community home. How could you this stuff? Where, where does this stuff come from? You know what I mean? Your you, son you, is using your childhood to oh rap about. Oh, my God, right. I worked hard to get you out of this, and you rapping right back to it. What is going on? It blows my mind. And, you know, this is Michael Irvin, of course, but it's the same thing that um, T.I. is going through. Like, his son grew up privileged. He grew up, your dad was at one point the self-proclaimed king of the South. You know what I'm saying? You have you've had no struggle, bro. You've you've had you've had every opportunity given to you. You feel me? You probably went to some of the better better schools in Atlanta or in the state of Georgia. I don't know exactly the whole backstories and shit. But this dude's been given every opportunity. This dude's 19 years old, right? I had to look it up because I want to make sure I don't, I'm not shitting on a kid type shit. Dude, you're 19 years old, bro. You gotta let go of that whole that mentality, man. You have a name. You have a brand, bro. You could, you could, you could finesse the fuck out of that instead of riding on your on your father's coattails type shit. And I know he's young, and I hope you know what I mean. I I hope I hope the brother's able to grow up. But um, this is in the uh, words of his own dad. Let's check it. I would like to shed light on the fact we all got bad ass kids. Okay, <laughs> now listen, don't make it seem like I'm the only one on here who got not, bad ass kids. Not, we all go through. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If you ain't got no bad ass kids, you got one and you got lucky. You hear me? Yeah. Anybody with three or more, with multiples. you got one that you don't know what the hell you gonna do with. Right. You feel me? I would like to share. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? Which brings us, this video uh, right here is uh, going to be recorded a year ago. Shout out to 9 Mag TV and all the work they do. Please don't hit me with the copyright, brother. Great content. Stop hitting me and giving me my comments. Telling me what to tell King, okay? I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son. His mama. 
and their grandmamas, is that going to prison. If you got to keep this shit up, they going to prison. Ain't no way around it. Ain't nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. Can't nobody stop it but him. Feel me? That's out of that's out of Ti's mouth himself. You know what I'm saying? And which brings us to the whole thing that happened. Um, so I, I I believe it was at the Falcons game. Um, Ti was bringing was was performing or bringing out the team or something like that. They're up in the um, the press one of the suites. You know what I'm saying it's probably a whole bunch of family members. King's in there. I believe he's on a live at the mo uh, once this all starts. He was already on a live, and um, you know he has his fan base that he's trying to project whatever onto and stuff. And he's gonna get called out. And the stuff that comes out this dude's mouth again. This is a 19 year old kid. I get it, but the stuff that comes out of his mouth. And I believe Ti has other children. King might be the biggest problem child. You know what I'm saying, and you saw it for yourself with the previous videos, in his own words. You know what I'm saying, but this dude's over here uh, saying he's from the hood and he was outside and you feel me. And the, the family's gonna press him on it, so let's let's get to it. Uh, King, have, you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Period. No, that's not the goal. He said, "Have you ever woke up with a roach on your face?" And no, you feel me? He said, "That's not the goal, bro. You haven't woken up." You've never gone to bed hungry, but because of circumstances, probably because you didn't want to eat or threw a tantrum type shit. You never went to bed hungry. You feel me? You never had the heat cut off, the lights cut off, um, wearing the same uh, pair of shoes all school year. You never had those type of struggles, a, ro a roach or nothing. You feel me? You haven't had those type of struggles that everyday, regular, normal people go through. Or have gone through. Feel me? You have been born and blessed not even with a silver spoon, bro. You have a gold spoon. All right? You have a dad that's uh, that, 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 that at his peak was one of the top rappers in the game. And it's like, that's going to get a lot of um, support and stuff like that. You feel me? You've never had any time. Back to the video. All right, dude. Yeah, man, go. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. I got in the neighborhood with me that broke up my roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to y'all want to go to the bando and my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver spoon. I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Right, yo, hey yo, man. Didn't Ti used to have a show, Family Hustle or something like that back in the day? Like, dude, you grew up, like, feel me? I, I don't get it. And it's and it's a lot of these celebrity kids, bro. Y'all grew up in the in the spotlight. Feel me? Even if you wanna, even if you wanna say a celebrity, John Morant grew up good family, good upbringing, and wanna be hood. Now the man is in the NBA and is uh wagering his whole fucking uh contract with doing dumb shit. Why? Because he wanna look hood on the gram. He wanna look hood to uh other stupid people that don't mean shit instead of like focusing and just getting to your own bag like king bro like i said you have you have a brand you your ti's kid you're automatically avenues are gonna be open for you that regular people wouldn't get access to but this is the stupidity this is the culture this is also the parenting i'm gonna put that in with it you feel me um and you know black culture where we glorify the bullshit we got a kid born in great family, great, well, I'm not going to say great. I don't know all the ins and outs. You feel me? But I know at least financially they're stable, more better than stable. You feel me? And he want to be at the work talking about we can go to the bando in his grandmother's neighborhood. Bro, what the fuck? If anything, you should, he should be buying the bando. And and, and 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 fixing it up, refurbishing in it, and then getting some more money, either selling it or, or renting it or whatever. You feel me? You got the access. I don't oh. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas follow the wrong motherfuckers. I'm telling you, yo. Nigga, you did I'm have silver spoon. Look, used to have to come rested. to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You cried like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. <laughs> he said he had to be running to the grandma's house, and they said that. You was crying to go to your grandma's house, bro. Feel me? And I, like I said, but 
And this could be just family, you know what I'm saying? When I get together with my family, like I said, feel me? You can see them flags right there. Guyana and Trinidad, I'm West Indian. My family, we roast each other, yo. We get on each other, yo. Like, feel me? If, 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 um, if we, uh, you know, meet each other for Thanksgiving shit, we, and everybody coming in, the, in, in, in the state and shit, yo, everyone will be roasting, yo. Oh, oh where, where you put on a little bit of what, yo? Oh, 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 you look like if you ain't, um, been taking care of yourself lately. It's like, yo, family, that's just, I don't know. I don't know. And it's all love. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. I think that he was caught with the camera and now he's trying to, you know, keep up this image or whatever that he's that he's trying to portray. You feel me? King always get into some dumb shit. Like, feel me? But bro, feel me, what would you would you would you trying to um make us believe is your childhood, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Your father's been in the rap game over twenty years. That's your whole life. Gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. You heard him? He don't want to be in the gates. He want to be outside. So he don't want to be in the gated community that his family was able to, um, you know, provide for him. He'd rather be in the hood or he'd rather be with the niggas not doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is the youth. This is the way that, this is the way that they think because, like, I, they've been manufactured that way through the culture, through the media, through all that shit, yo. And people like this, especially like this dude, I hope that he's able to wake up from the Matrix. That's why I want to be over there. Yeah, they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because he can suck and pacify over there. He was 12 years old. He was suck and pacify. He was 12 years old. He can do that in the house. See, and like I said, this this is all family. Now, I believe that this is when Tiny grabbed his phone. You feel I me? Mean? I don't know. I don't know. But it's all family. It's all love. My family would probably do the same shit if I was if I was on live trying to expose and shit like that. You feel I me? Mean? they probably do the same thing. You <laughs> cried like a baby. Hold it yeah, 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 yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a passy. But they ain't gonna tell you everything. Like they, they, yeah, they trying yeah, to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. Hide it. He capping. Oh, he capping. Hey. He know I stand on business. He, he know that. Sir. Hey, can't no nigga ever pull my car hurt, ever in life. I stand on business. You I stand on business. I stand on. Bro, man, your whole every all your clout comes from your parents. Comes from your dad mainly. All the clout. Everybody. Anybody that even knows your name. It's because it comes. You're literally named after your one of your dad's best albums. You know what I'm saying, but Ti promotes this type of shit in his music. When you when you try to hold people accountable, he uh will be the one to be like, no, 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 this, that, and the third. And Ti is also somebody that is constantly uh giving out advice and you know giving out um wisdom to people. And this is what I'm saying about Holly Weird, bro. You can't even handle your little one right there. Why? Why? Why should we believe that you got all the answers? You ain't got the answers, Tip. You ain't got the answers. Now, nah, like, but like, why would we think that? You feel me? Why? And this is what I mean about people. Fuck these celebrities, man. Because look, look, this nigga, this little nigga got every opportunity that some of us would would die for. Feel me? Some of us. Feel me? And he's just wasting it right now. Got me somewhere, I stand on business. You got, you got me in your hood, man. I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah, I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind the mansion. This nigga just babbling right now, yo, and just disrespecting his parents type shit. And it's like, bro, they have given you a great life by all that we can see. I don't know all the ins and outs. I'm not in their family. I don't have no connection to their family. I'm just going from what I can see. You feel me? This man has had more opportunities than a lot of us. Meanwhile, just saying this shit, I'm outside. I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I was, I, I, I was, I was, I was at the bando by grandma instead of be, like, nigga, your ass was in the fucking house. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You was, like, you was behind that till you cried. No, I no, got too much to drink. I got drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. Now, get mad because we stay the south ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other. Like this being sick. This being sick. 
No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. You 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 capping. I mean, like I said, he's he's stupid, but it's also the parenting, bro. Like, ain't no way publicly that that, that your kids should be talking to you like this publicly. Now, behind clothes, if y'all in the crib and shit like that and y'all want to get a little bit emotional, that's completely different. As long as you stay respectful, that's completely different. But it's to do it publicly and you and you recording it on top of that, bro. It's bogus as hell, man. I know you. I know you. I know you. Ain't no mystery, man. I know you, though. Man, I know you know. I know you know. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? So right, like around here, I think that this is when he's gonna kind of like try to press Ti and Ti gonna put his little ass in a headlock. You feel me? And that's what I'm saying, man. All this talking, you do, like, bro, relax, man. Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. I think this is tiny right here, actually trying to hold him back. And he talking about he stand on business. Nigga, you talking to your mom talking about you stand on business? Nigga, sh What? Man, shut the fuck up, yo. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? And this is what I'm saying, yo. This is a sensitive little boy, man. This is a sensitive... And a lot of these... Mo <coughs> sensitive, yo. Willing to wild out for what? Over a little bit of ego? Of a little bit of uh, she, your parents embarrass you, which I'm sure that everybody in his life, parents talk shit to them. I'm sure. So why the fuck you wilding out like this, yo? You could have just been like, ah, niggas, niggas sipping and feeling nice. The pops just uh, brought out the team. Everybody feeling good. You know what I'm saying? They joking and I'm getting the the, the, the rough end of it type shit. That's what you could have said. Instead, you want to raise up to your mom and dad, look like a fucking idiot, get put in the headlock by your dad and all that. Or what? Happy Thanksgiving, nigga. Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? Hey, yo, man, if y'all got a friend like that, yo, that's constantly like, oh, niggas, oh, niggas is playing me, yo, and I'm standing on bed over nothing, man. Yo, separate from them people, man. Them people is just waiting to get you fucked. Embarrassing you yourself, man. You're embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Man, what is she talking about? Man, get out of me, nigga. Man, get out of me, nigga. All right, so he's fighting back, and now I think Ti's got him, and um, you going here. He's pretty much putting it, putting his little ass in a headlock. But you can't do nothing with me. See? Ain't shit you can do with me. So he's got him. That whole thing is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that they're that. Everything is public. I mean, these guys, these people put out the information for us. You know what I'm saying? We did not go record them. You know what I'm saying? All this type of shit. I feel like this type of conversation should have been kept behind closed doors. Should have laughed it off if he was on the live and then, you know, discussed it later. You know what I'm saying? Where, where cooler heads could prevail. Instead, he gets on and acts like this and shit like that. Again, this silver spoon had everything he ever wanted in life and shit, had every, had, you feel me, has had more than enough opportunities, I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, but, um, y'all let me know what y'all think, y'all, 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 y'all can feel where he coming from, y'all feel, y'all feel like he got to stand on business, you know what I'm saying, or, um, you know what I'm saying, they did, and again, it goes back to the parenting, the parenting does play some aspect, but this was just all around stupid, you know what I'm saying, embarrassing for, for all the people involved, you know what I'm saying? I hope that they could do whatever they got to do behind closed doors. And, you know what I'm saying? But I'm um, also king, like your dad said, man, going to end up in prison. Keep fucking around, man. Like, feel me? Uh, there's only so many chances you won't get in this life before it catches up with you. All right? And uh, before I hit it with my last random clip, if you stuck around this long in the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit a like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button. Let's have some fun. We're rocking out the rest of the year. Rocking and rolling. Wave hitting all week long. And um, yeah, let's go. Last clip. Let's take the food. Thanks for the chicken curry. Yeah, curry chicken. Chicken curry. Curry chicken. Chicken curry. Curry chicken. Curry chicken. Curry chicken. Get out. Curry. Yeah.
All right, I got the Guyana right there, and they just say they, they say chicken curry, but nah, it's curry, it's curry chicken all day. All right, y'all stay wavy.